Hi, and welcome to an episode of Utah Crossbow Hunter, where today we're going to be doing a quick spin test on my new ballistic 425 arrows that I got. Uh, as you see, the box is kind of empty because I've already taken them out and done a couple of things, and I'll show you that here in just a moment. But before we get started, remember, you can find me on YouTube.com, black slash user, black slash uh, 10 rubro, and then on Rumble, You'll find me at rumble.com. Uh, up there in the middle of the screen or off to the left a little bit, you'll see a spot that says videos. Click on that box or channel. It will stop, drop down channel, hit channel, and type in Utah Crossbow Hunter, all one word, and I will be your host, Robert. So with that said, let's get into today's show. Okay, here we are back, ready to get going. As you can see on my green screen behind me, we got a couple of antelope that I took a picture of, uh, oh, probably middle fall last year. Um, they were out in the field, and they were having a, um, a squabble going on there. Um, but uh, anyways, we're going to be talking about, you know, doing a spin test on the new, on my new ballistic 425 arrows. Um, like I said, there's some things I've done before the video, and I put in my new knocks. I got the green knocks on here that are an aftermarket knock that I really like. But they also come with the, these orange knocks. I'm going to debate between which ones I'm going to use, um, simply because of visibility. So I will do visibility tests with these later on, way down the road. And see which ones I like better. But for right now, I do have these green solid ones on there. I did have some light knocks. If you notice some of my videos in the past, um, yeah, I kind of destroyed some. And I also went ahead and uh, numbered my arrows. So all I'm going to be doing is just a quick uh, spin test on these arrows uh, to make sure everything is all good. Um, this is just. A step one of a three prop process that I do because the next thing we'll be doing is uh, weighing these arrows and after I weigh them I'll be putting on gill tips on six broadheads on six and have my leftover arrows to fill the gaps and so if I lose one um, bust up one somehow I have backups now if you notice that uh, so far we're good here um, I was using these uh, nitro 500 pros uh, for my um, center point Patriot 415 they're a 22 inch arrow they're a heavier arrow I like these arrows I love these arrows but at the time of the recording of this video I was having a hard time finding these arrows. I did find some, but um, I needed, I want six, and I could only, they only come in a pack, the ones I found were only came in a packet of three. But uh, gold tip, if you can hear me, yeah, send me some more of these. All right, uh, but again, gold tip, not a sponsor for me, but uh, I'd love to have them for a sponsor, absolutely. I love their arrows. And so, uh, I want more. So, so far, we're looking pretty good on these arrows. And like I was saying before, I have a process that I go through. I'll do a spin test on these first. Make sure everything is good. Then I'll do a weigh of them. And then I'll put on my six um, field tips and six um, thorn broadheads. And then, uh, of course, I'll be weighing those and all that kind of good stuff. So this is just, just a real quick. Okay. So, so far, the spin test has been really good, um, and I, that's always a plus, because I don't like seeing wobbly uh, arrows 
from a you know brand new arrows like I had in my um, oh what was that um, my Jaguar C zero thirteen where I bought some arrows and got them and they were bad so um, and you see my engineer is back here you go have a drink that's what he wants and so do I. Okay, so with that said, we'll come back with some final thoughts. Okay, so here are back some final thoughts. Um, let me get rid of this camera. Give me just one second here. Okay, all right. So I got rid of that camera. You don't need to be looking at. Uh, my spinner anymore but um, yeah I, I gold tip has some excellent arrows um, so far I haven't had any issues with them except you know the tips coming out deep in my bag or going deep in my bag with the fletchings and the fletchings get ripped off or hitting the arrow with another arrow hitting my the, the, the uh, knock area with another arrow so I like to have a lot of arrows and I do have a lot of arrows trust me um, but again you know um, I want to get some more of these uh, 500 nitro pros uh, but it's tough right now the it is tough getting anything you know um, ammunition for your for your rifles man or or your handguns or whatever um, it's tough your stores are all sold out and they can't keep up with it um, but you uh, but crossbows and arrows are, I guess are a new thing and people are buying them up like crazy trying to find um, crossbows uh, and especially at a decent price so hopefully things get better down the road uh, so um, with that said remember your family first. Take care of your family. By all means, get out there and hunt. And see you on the next episode of Utah Crossbow Hunter.